you know, all kinds of organizations, major properties. So it's not that I want you to be paranoid about discussing things at your meetings, because you don't have to be. And if you do not like what one person in the industry is doing, as an individual, don't be as scared of the B word. I have so much problem getting gasoline, I've told some of you this before. I boycott so many different gas stations that I'm running on empty <laughs> until I find somebody I don't know anything about. But that's as an individual, I can do that. And it's still something that nobody can stop you as individuals from dealing with what suppliers uh, you want to. Uh, let me briefly, you don't have to write these down, just give you some examples of what are automatic uh, violations. Do not meet with competitors for the purpose of agreeing on prices or terms and conditions for the sale of any goods or services. You can ask suppliers for overrides. You offer them something. The quid pro quo, what you're giving them, is what Jeff is giving our suppliers. Our suppliers are getting a dedicated workforce, and for that reason, and the loyalty, they're giving you some additional money. That's not setting any prices. It's requesting and giving something, which to them is so much cheaper to give, rather than making the type of calls. They already have you if you're really utilizing the uh, suppliers the way we hope you are. Do not make agreements with competitors which have the purpose of coercing any business to deal with other competitors which are intended to prevent the business from doing business. You're never going to hear out of this organization do not deal with this group because they didn't do anything. They're not going to do that. If individually you have gripes, you can always vent those on whom you want. Do not condition a sale of one product or service on the purchase of another. I don't know how many football fans are here in the audience. I know there's not an abundance of 49er fans uh, out there uh, looking at the name tags. But we have a team that almost made it to the Super Bowl uh, this year. And the 49ers had 17,000 tickets that go into a lottery at the end for their season people, and they get a chance of going to the Super Bowl. Well, they took 7,000 of them and gave them to one travel agency and said, you will have the right to do this package. Now they swore they got nothing for this. 7,000 tickets, and they got no type of premium. And the prices were triple the amount, 